I lost my brother Stephen Lloyd um, due to um, my mother actually beating my brother to death uh, when he was 18 months old. My mother had physically picked me up and threw me back downstairs in our home. I ended up um, surviving with a plate in my head and um, uh, reconstructive surgery. To survive, uh, I found neighbors that I could like sneak in their back door and go in the refrigerator and their cupboards and get what I could and go back to the mobile home and uh, feed my, my brothers and I. My daughter um, went to, on her way home from a movie. A transit bus took a left-hand turn and ran her over. And uh, the next thing I knew, I got a phone call that she was gone. I just laid in my bed and shook and rocked myself for days, nonstop. I ended up being homeless because I was broken. It was just the trauma of life and the despair, you know, of hopelessness. I didn't know exactly anything about Hope Place. I just knew the name and it was the word hope. And this felt like a safe place. I could feel it, that it was a safe place. They just didn't put me in a room and leave me alone. The volunteers and the staff here, that I'm, their arms are just wrapped around me. That is such a big, tremendous heal, healing in itself, to know that you're not going to be alone. And when my Lord let me know that I wasn't going to walk alone, I didn't mean, I didn't know he met me a hundred plus, you know, complete strangers that was going to love me. You know, I've never been so loved in my life. <laughs>